What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here and welcome to Bass Tone Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about cutting and boosting bass. Now I know, before you run away and go to another video and think, okay, why would I want to cut bass? You know, you play bass, you're supposed to have bass in your signal. Now, this is something that can help you in some situations. And what you heard in the beginning was actually a track when I was recording with my Dingwall and my Noble DI, which is right here. And I cut bass and boosted bass at the same time. So let me explain you why I did that. And like I said, it can help you in some situations. First of all, right now there is a bass boost and I'm going to put a picture so you can see where it is because kind of hard from the camera angles to show you. But I am boosting bass at the moment and this is how the bass sounds like right now. But I have the tone control closed a little bit. This is with control fully open. cutting some travel frequencies here and like I said I'm boosting some bass I'm gonna go flat so it's a pretty considerable difference right it is pretty pretty chunky with the bass boost right it's really rich and thick. What I did in the intro was I applied the low cut that had the Noble has and if I just do it, if I just flip the switch, it sounds like this. Compared to So it's a pretty big difference as well, right? And you might wonder, okay, but it sounds pretty thin when you do that, right? Because I am removing frequencies below 90 Hz. So it's removing quite a bit of bass content. But what I did then was I actually boosted even more bass. So it was like somewhere like there. I'm gonna put a picture as well of the settings as well. And now it sounds like this. compared to and as you can hear that creates a different sound and it puts the bass in a different place in the mix because even though I'm boosting quite a bit of bass right now the bass, because I'm removing frequencies before and then boosting them the bass sits at a different position in the mix and this is useful, for example, if the kick drum is really, really thick and you know big sounding kick drum or, for example, if there's a lot of synth layers like you know, keyboards or you know electronic stuff that's happening in the mix, which is kind of like you know a lot of rumble stacking up there, using something like this can be very very helpful. Or, for example, if you're in a stage or in a room and the bass is just too boomy, you know, all the time, cutting and then boosting frequencies can help you get some more definition in the mix. Now, I recorded different samples, so I recorded the same line from the intro using you know, a flat signal, a bass boosted signal, then a low cut, and then I boosted even more, just like I did here. So let's compare how those signals sound like.
as you could hear, there is a very clear difference between those signals. And even though I'm boosting quite a bit of bass, the signal still retains thickness on punch, but the blow and punch, it's a, a different position and you still have more definition than if I was just to boost the bass. So I'm gonna do it again real quickly. And right now I have the bass boosted halfway and with the switch engaged. If I was to do that without the switch, it's gonna be like super thick. And there's gonna be a volume difference now though. So I'm gonna try to compensate that in post. But like I said, this could be a helpful technique or approach if you're in a room that has a lot of, you know, boominess, the bass is really undefined. Or like I said, if there's a lot of frequencies or instruments that are playing in the lower register, using this approach can help you to get more definition and still retain, you know, the low end of the bass. I hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments. And also, don't forget to subscribe I hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the content that's coming to the channel. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.